Good morning, Pisces. <clears throat> How are we doing? How are you doing this morning? We doing good? Well, I tell you, I'm feeling great. Pisces, don't forget to wash your hands. Don't put it all up in where you ain't got no business putting it at. Wash your hands as many times as you can. Be alert. Know that after, you know, the focus is off of the um, virus now is on to the nonsense and um, it went from one thing to another to another to another. It's on to the stream. So um, just stay at home and be safe with your kids. And um, it's crazy. So, but stay on point because you know what, what God says when I clean it all, <clears throat> those who are left are the ones that are supposed to be here. So, Pisces, we've been bottom for a long time. I'm talking about as far as I can remember, and I'm in my 50s. So, it's our time. So, shining is what we do, I and mean, that's what we do best. Okay, um, just know that I want the best for y'all. And when I do the readings, whatever don't fit, don't make it fit. If it don't, if it's not for you, it's not for you. It's, it's, it's so much other readings. And for those who are joining me that has, don't know me, know that I don't have no filter. I call it like I see it. So if you're one of those people that's all sentimental and into your feelings, this place is not for you. But if you know how to get down with the get down and take it like, a, you know, like you know how you got it. Because you put up with so much shit, so why not put up my real shit? What? It is real, is honey, and I don't call it. But nothing like I see. It is what it is. You know, fuck it. You know what I mean? So, um, don't be coming over here, cry, cry, cry. Because see, by the time you get done with this station here, whew, can't nobody touch you. Because I don't do nothing but build you up. <clears throat> Will you not touch? Do you understand what I mean? Like, they looking at you like, what's wrong with you? No, because you know what you're doing now, okay? So, that's, that's, that's what I'm into. I'm into building you spiritually, mentally, emotionally. So nobody will ever step on you and then they don't catch you sleeping, okay? Because one thing about us, when we fall in love, we go head over heels and we forget who we are. We're the captains. We can be anybody we want to be. Are you kidding me? What? Who said what? They lying to your ass, honey. They lying to you. They are lying, honey. You are damn sure the numero uno. Uno, okay? And you can make Uno into a million in a billion. Don't forget that shit. Don't let nobody tell you no bullshit. They lied to your ass. You the bomb diggity dog. And when they think they done something to you, honey, you done been around the corner, been back and around what? What? Well, you might thought you had me all caught up in your shit, but you never had me caught up because I always have a plan B. I execute it every time. Do you understand? I execute the plan every fucking time. So while they think they got me all wrapped up in my heart, you might have got me wrapped up because you might have been number one, but you damn sure wasn't my only number one. What? Hey, the show must go on. Cameras, action. Let the curtains come up because here we go. Hey, Miss Lisa's in the house. What? On stage? What? You better know it. You better fucking know it. Because anybody I introduce on my stage, you know they're going to wild on your ass. Wild on you, man. What? Wild on you. Because my stage is your house and my house is what you can do. Because, baby, when you're in my house, you do whatever you want. So if they don't like it, they can exit out the door the same way they came in. Because you in Mama Cita's house. Do what you want to do, Pisces. This is your damn house. Don't have no filter. I don't give a damn if you on stage. If you ain't, don't have no filter. Call it just how you see it. Because that's all I got. I ain't got no punks. I don't know about no punks. Okay? I don't know about nobody getting beat the fuck down. Because if I put you in the ring, guess what? I put all my money on it. You're going to win. And I guarantee you, you're going to come out. They might have knocked you out one time, but they ain't got the second time to knock your ass out. Because you, when you come back up, you coming back up. Just like me. What? I'm a trooper. Don't ever forget that shit. And when you think you had me, 
You might have been my number one, but you ain't never been my only one. Oh, yes, baby. <laughs> yes, honey. I be bugging my own self out. You, let me say that shit one more time. You might have thought you was my only one. And you might have been the only one that had this, but I've always had a plan B. What? Because I executed every fucking time. You might have had me on tears, but say on this side here, I always had a plan B to bring them tears back the fuck up. Because that's what I do. I execute this shit. Yes, I do. When the picnic is shut by one, the picnic will start with the other one. What the fuck? What? My food don't never go to waste. My food is too damn good to go to waste. So when I put your ass the fuck out, I pick up the next one. There's a next bus all the time. The bus don't stop running. Neither do cabs. Okay? <clears throat> so I'm telling you, there's always a plan B. Fuck the plan A. Plan A don't act right, get the plan B. <clears throat> and if the plan B don't act right, get the plan C. Keep fucking going. Shit, what? It's from A to Z. You got that shit? A to Z. It's a long ways down that line. Fuck them. Move the fuck on, boo-boo. Okay. I'm sending a shout out to Miss Tiffany. I love you, Miss Tiffany Brown. I said your whole name. Baby, I'm going to make you the baddest bitch you ever see. Do you hear me? Bad. They ain't going to know what the fuck to do with you. He got you sleeping. He got you wrong, honey. And I had somebody else I was trying to send a shout out to. Very important that I do. Send a shout out, but I can't. Francesca. Ooh, shoot. These two readers wasn't even on a, um, on, um, Desiree sending you a shout out and, um, sending you a shout out because, you know, I'll be reading you on, what day is that, Saturday? Yes, honey. <clears throat> and Francesca's mom is in the hospital. We're going to pray for her. We're sending Francesca mom prayers, honey. Yes, to recover. Yes, boo. Um, Roxanne, you know, baby, you got it going on. You know, you my sharp little mamacita there. Lynch, and now shout out to you. Calvin, yes, baby's in the house. Calvin, Mr. Calvin, Mr. Smooth, smooth selling Calvin. Sending shout outs to you too. I'm going to have to write a long list of your name and that's exactly what I tend to do. Okay. Tracy sending a sending a shout out to Miss Tracy. Texas is in the house. New Orleans is in the house. <clears throat> and um my baby Boots is in the house too, but y'all can't see him because he's grabbing me by my hand. He on he's a trip. So let's get this party started, okay? Listen, thank you for all the likes and shares, subscribing. Thank you for all the private readings. Thank you very much. Um, love it, love it, love it all. Love it all. Okay, I had a beautiful reading yesterday for Mama Sita up here from um, Dominican Republic. You in the house, mommy. You in the house, shining like a star that you are. Yes, boo. Do it, do it, do it. All right. I love it, love it, love it. I love it. Okay, so you got the two of wands starting off. The two of wands. Yes, baby, yes. Two of wands. That's a uh, fire sign, area Sagittarius, or Leo's in the house. You got the strength card, okay? Love it, love it, love it, love it. <clears throat> you got that strength card. Which is another Leo. We got a lot of Leo in the house. And then you got the Eight of Swords. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra is in the house. Libra. These people are these people here. Don't forget it. This here. Okay. And then you got these two people in the house. Okay. All right. So let you know what is what. Because we're going to learn some lessons up in this bitch. What? Because this is my house and I'm going to teach you all the shit you need to learn. Open up your own tarot card shit. I don't know. Make it rain on you, honey. Make it rain, rain, rain. Rain, rain. What? Nobody can make it rain like a Pisces. 
Okay, so when we get on the show, okay, I might have this shit raining on us. What the fuck? Raining, raining, yes. You got me on fire here. God, what you wake me up on? Because I'm on some real, real stuff. I wake up every day at the same time. I stopped doing that for a minute, but here come the spirits again, waking me up at that time. They got a lot to talk about, and so do I. So do I, baby. What? We on the, how about at that time every morning, I feel like I'm coming to a conference meeting, and they are saying, this is your deed, honey. Get on it. Do you understand? They got me sitting down and they saying, this is what you're going to do and how you going to do it. Do you understand? Because that's some real shit. It's some real shit popping off. And they got me on a conference call every day. I'm at a meeting. Same time every morning, honey, when, the, when everybody's sleeping, the spirits wake me up. Come on now, get on up. We need to talk to you. Do you understand? This is serious, honey. Serious. But we need to move on about this because it's serious. I'm telling you, stuff is getting real deep. And I was telling some young lady on the phone that I had a meeting with God, honey. And he said, order what you want off the menu. Everything you want. Because he was waiting. And he said, I'm going to pay this bill. Okay. And how about I started ordering something on there. He said, uh-uh, we're going 86 this shit. Because you know this, this, this wasn't no good, no way. So we were eighty six. When I mean eighty six, you would never ever in your life think about that. What? And I mean it. And I said, all right, I'll take it. And guess what? I decided it could never be on my life because it ain't what I decide. God said, whether you want it or not, whether you had that good taste in your mouth for that person, it's you don't even taste it no more. It don't even taste good to you. You already know it ain't nothing but trash and shit. And while you clean your ass with it, flush it down the toilet. And it goes right down the sewage with the rest of the shit. Okay? Now, moving on. I have to say that. That was vicious, but damn. See what they created? A monster. I'm like, eh! Fucking right. Don't come at me. No, boo-boo. Don't do it. So here we go, Pisces, because this ain't nothing but the truth. Pisces, you got a world filled with opportunity and adventure. You welcome them into your life with a plan of action. Pisces, you're looking at something, and you're planning on this, right? You're really planning on it, right? And whether it's your career success climbing up to the letters, or making a plan B. I just told you, I don't know why I told you my plan, you know, my hair look a mess, but plan B is when something is no longer serving you in your life, you make a plan B. And you know what a plan B is? I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to be honest with you. If shit ain't right in the house, and you sitting there waiting to as hell, and you about to die, honey, open up your mouth and breathe. Look, it right lies, plan B. Because once that plan B is in point and in place and in plan, plan A is like gone. That quick. You ain't even know it happened that quick because you've been stuck on it for like, what, two years? And probably thought that when it came back, it was going to be good. You probably known this, this plan for a long time. But you thought for some reason, back then, you you can't even remember if it was good or bad. But when it came, it came out sour shit. So then, it's a plan B. And this is what it is. You executing it. And what it's saying is, it's a bigger plan for an opportunity and adventure. Damn, don't you want to be happy? Don't you want to smile? Don't you want to feel good inside? Don't you want to know that it's a better you? Don't you know the opportunities are waiting for you? Don't you know, Pisces, that in every level that you in in your life, maybe I'm on this, let me tell you something. Okay, now I'm getting down. I was here for a long time, right? I was on that level for a very long time. You understand? For a long time was I here. Do you understand? 
for a long time. I'm talking about one after another, a long time career business. Boy, did I hit rock bottom. I didn't know how did I come up, but I knew one thing. God always had my back. No matter how bad my situation was, God always had my back. Do you understand? No matter what the situation, whether it was a, in my life, whether it was in a relationship, whether it was, if I didn't know where my next meal was coming from or my bills, were, God always had that for me. I ain't never could say God didn't have my bills paid. Didn't have food on my table. Didn't have me a job. It might have been not the job I wanted, but it paid the bills. Right? But one thing I could never get right out of all the things I could, and I said God always provide, right? What's my heart? What's the feeling that I felt for people that I loved that tortured me? That's the only thing I could never get right was that. Because Pisces, when we love, we love. And when we get all caught up in our feelings, the world will tell you, girl, stop getting caught up in your feelings. Like, why are you getting all serious about this? It ain't that damn serious, but you making it serious. Like, for real, like you would call, like you would call somebody right out and get real nasty. And the shit ain't that serious, right? Because that's Pisces. But everything else, God always say, look, I got you on this and I got you on this. But one thing God says to you, if you can't control yourself and your emotions, right? And you allowed it, everything else to fall to do you in. And you don't see yourself in this major opportunity in life that you can have it all. But you always getting caught into your feelings. You know why? Because Pisces, you can build a castle for a person. And that person don't have to be shit. But you will make that person a castle. And then you wonder why you are sitting outside of your castle looking at all of this happening to you. And you, what the fuck? I'm stuck in a cage. Because Pisces. When you love, you love extremely hard. You get so blind that you can't see. And if you do see it, you don't see it. And it takes somebody to drag you through the dirt, through the dirt, the mud, bury your ass alive. Take your soul from you. Do you understand? Take your thoughts, control you completely. And you just sitting in the house going to work and coming back like the world is full of go go and you in the house. Thinking, thinking about shit. You know why? Because once you get stuck in your head, you stuck. And you are the only one that can create all these thoughts. It ain't the person is you. It ain't the person that did that is you. Everything they done to you, you cost it to yourself because you allowed it. So, I don't know where I'm going there, but it says the world is full of opportunity and adventures, right? And it's welcoming you to walk me in your life and make it a plan, right? Because when you execute it, you're going to be big. Do you understand? You're going to be huge. Because finally you're coming into it together. Everything, you don't understand. When I mean everything is coming together, everything is coming together. But how bad do you want this everything to come together? Because I've been telling y'all for a long time. When this door opens up, if you don't know what you wanted and you still stuck on stupid and dumb, that's on you. Because guess what? Me, I'm out. I'm going out. That's why the spirits wake me up at the same time every morning. Because they say, get your ass up, make this plan, execute it. Execute this plan. Balance yourself. Know that you got to make time for this, that, and that. In order to build this corporate. In order to build 
this foundation is going to open up the doors for many and billions and millions of people. But in order for you to do it, you got to master the plan. You can't put ingredients and keep failing at it. You got to put the ingredients and study it so once you get it, you ain't got that much to put more in it. Because through each and every Pisces that it is, it's not what product you put out. It's the energy that goes into it that is you. Everybody can make that same thing. That same product. And you can say, billions of people are making that. Why are they going to pick mine? You know why? And I'm going to make an example. There's a whole lot of YouTube tarot card readers, right? But it's that one that you like the most. Because it feeds your soul, right? And it's the same thing with a product. Get your ass up from that sofa. Go get what you like to do. And your energy, who you are, is what you put into it. Your energy, who you are, your energy, can you get it, your spirit, your energy, your energy. It's the main ingredient to this. And once you put it in there, and you put it out, they're going to buy it. Because it's something about that energy, that particular item that you're selling, that's going to make this person feel whole. Please listen to me, honey. Please listen to me. It's enough money out here for everybody. Please listen to me, honey. Please, please, please. You look around you. It's so simple to do it. But you got to believe it. And you got to give all of you into this product. All of you. And when you do it, you're going to be famous for what you do. And want to hear something? Every time I give a show in your state. You got that? Every time. And you line up with the same product, all of the, 20 of y'all got the same thing selling it. I swear to you that your product is going to change people's lives. That light, when they light that candle, is going to light their lives. That soap, when they take a bath with, it's going to give them nurture. That bath bomb, when they put it in there, it's going to blow the energy. Do you understand? That scrub salt, and especially Pisces, the scrub salt that people would use that you would make. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. I'm claiming it, and I'm telling you, you're going to blow up. Please, Pisces. I'm telling y'all what to do. Please. Please. Listen to me. What I want for me, I want for you. I want you to own your own companies. It's no time to work for nobody. Be, I don't give a flying fuck how much you making right now. I don't give a damn if you're the head person in corporate. I swear to you, if you just listen to me, you will be billionaires, millionaires. But you got to believe it. I swear, your jewelry, your bracelets, oh my, your paintings. Don't you know people look into them paintings and there's something about your paintings that comes to life and it can remind them of someone that passed, of someone that they've been through in their life with or even where they feel comfortable looking at that painting which is giving them comfort. Do you understand? It could be anything. Your clothesline. Do you understand? That little stamp that you got. That's so different about all. It can be a leather. Your leather work. Come on Pisces. I'm trying to get you on board. Come on. You can do this. Healers. 
anything you want. Just do it. I don't give a damn if you got one subscriber. That one is going to come into millions of subscribers. You don't get it. What the hell you think? Did I was sitting here and all y'all just popped up on me? Hell to the no. Hell to the no. It didn't go that way. God says when I open up this door, I said if I open up this door and you give it your all, we can open up this one. And like I said, the spirits are waking me up because they say, get the hell up. You got something to do. You say you was going to do it. Why are you still playing with me and it's not done? Do you understand? And I don't even know why I'm on this and I ain't even started reading the cards because God is saying, hello, wake up. I said I got something for you. Why is you playing with me? I said when it was time to go back, I'm going to tell that job I'm not going back, right? And I made a vow to that, right? Because I promised to bring Pisces out of the darkness into the light and make it rain on you. Rain, rain, rain. Do you get it? When I do my seminars, I swear to you, it ain't a soul that ain't going to be on fire by the time they get out of there. Because I mean what I say. And that's why I work so hard with you. And maybe you think I ain't got no filter in my mouth. And I call it like I said. But that's the only way I can talk to y'all. Because y'all don't get it. Y'all don't get the power in you. Just know that the same power you give the people. Is the same power you got to take back. And make it all about you. And I don't give a damn if they say, oh, you think you all that? Look how you walk. Look about this and that. I don't give a flying fuck. Do you understand? Tilt your head to the side or to the front and say, I got this shit. Yo, I'm that. You ain't got to tell me. Because the more you hate, the more I rise. The more you vindictive towards me, the more I rise. The more envy and jealousy you are, the more I rise. The more you try to hurt me, I'm shelled. Do you get it? Stop worrying about that and move on to this. You always got time for this. You made it all your life, this. So let's do this. Because anywhere you start, in any job, you're going to rise. But what better it is to rise on your own? To open up your doors every morning and say, this is mine. To be the boss, to open up a restaurant, to open up a bakery, to open up whatever you want, please do it. Honey, start it from your house. Do you get it? You just don't get it. I got to move on because I don't even know what I'm doing here, but I'm supposed to start reading and I'm on this. Come on, spirits, talk to me, talk to me, spirits, talk to me. You need to make a real choice about what you really want to do or not. You can dream whatever you want, you can bring it to reality. And bring it to life. If you can imagine anything you want. And you can feel it. It can come alive. But you got to feel it. And you got to know it. Because this is what it's telling you. It's an opportunity. And it's an adventure. Life is full of opportunities. In every level Pisces. Please, look at it. It's in every level. Some of us are just starting. And some of us are like way up there. But wherever you at, I am right there to meet you. Right where you at. And Pisces, I got people on my studio that needs me more than you. More than the ones that are right here. I got some that are right here. 
that needs me to hug them. It needs me to feed them and bring them back to nurture them. And I'm going to do it. And I tell them every day, don't forget to call me. Because until I see them out of their situation, I will not stop. Do you understand? I wish God made a million of me to be in a million houses, but he only made one. And he said, Lisa, you have built many people up, but it's still some right here that you got to nurture just like a baby. And I'm about to nurture you and make you stronger than you ever been. You hear me? I am here for you. When I tell you, call me every day, I mean it. And they might not be able to get to the other ones, but I swear I will make time for you because I know who needs me and who needs me the most. And I know who I've already been work with and I know that the ones that I work with, how far you are. And you see it now. So I can let you fly because in the nest, I still got more there to, to help. Do you understand? This is a house of healing, a help, of embracing you, embracing who you are. I don't know why I'm on this topic. I got to move on. Spirits, thank you. Thank you, because I, I, I don't know. Then you come into the strength, right? And it's showing you like a lamb. And it's saying, you know, I'm going to build you up because I know that you're capable of being built up. And, I, and you are because I didn't make no trash, honey. God don't make trash. And he know that you're a lamb. Right here. You're a lamb, baby. And he want to beat you. Look, look, look at this. And he wants to build you into this right here. And I'm talking about for those who are starting off, who feeling like, it, I don't know where to go. I'm telling you, I'm talking to you. And I'm telling you that you're a lamb and that you're so precious. And you, you just don't know, honey, that I'm going to build you to be this lion. And I'm going to build you to know how much love you got. And that can't nobody take that from you. You're giving it to them. And don't sleep on it. Don't sleep no more. Wake up. Because God says, when they use you enough, I'm going to wake you up in every kind of way I can to get your attention to know that you are ready to be a warrior. Okay? And I'm going to teach you to be that. Because I'm tired of you going through what you're going through. And I had enough. So now, come on, let's go. Let's go to Pisces Studio. Let's go to that school. Knock on that door. The door is open. Sit down. Have a seat. Because I got something for you. You in the right house. Do you understand? I love you. I want you to be better than you ever been. And I'm not talking about in your life. I'm talking within yourself. Do you understand? Because you go within yourself and then you come out. You go inside yourself and you knock that door. And you say, I'm ready to sit down and learn who I am. Because once I learn who I am, I can go back out the door and say, I'm ready. I'm talking to these people that are really coming into this door, broken down, torn apart. I'm here. I will not leave you until you come out of it. I promise you this. I swear I promise you. Do you understand, Pisces? We're on different levels. Do you understand? You're coming into the strength, okay? You're going to move forward. And you're going to know that you you got it all. And don't be afraid to move because you got to move. Courage, calmness, quietness, the strength is coming very fiery, right? Gracefully, a leadership, a gift of healing, pouring of your thoughts, pouring into your thoughts and into your heart. Spiritual matters, okay? Compassion sometimes is lust. 
that you just give it all to because you, for some reason, you feel like if I ain't got this, then I ain't got nothing. And that's not the truth. So where you at, it's like you got something that ain't even there, but you just making it there because you want it to be there and it ain't there. So it's saying in order for you to get it, get your own, get who you are. Don't worry about what's there, that it ain't there. Worry about what going within yourself and gaining the strength so you can move out of there into reality and shit start making sense and start saying, wow, honey, I can start doing my hair, start feeling good about myself, looking be beautifying myself. Let me tell you something. A lot of people, Pisces, a lot of people, and I'm not talking about the Pisces that are already getting it. I'm talking about the Pisces that feels like you know, I'm not moving on. And you know why? Because when you got kids and you sitting in your house and you love your kids, right? And these people got you all in control because they can come in and out, in and out because you ain't going to be chasing nobody because you got your kids. So you work and then you come home and take care of your work, come home and take care of your kids. That's all you do. While they come and ripping and running, acting crazy, right? So I'm letting you know right now. While you in the house, getting to know who you are, going within, right? You're going to wake up. And all of these little plans that this person got to execute you, it's going to backfire right on them. It damn sure is. Because silent is a motherfucker. When they don't know what you're thinking or speaking, that's crazy. Because it's like, are they going to say something? I need to know where they wait. No, keep your mouth shut and make that plan be executed because they don't have no clue on what you're going to plan to do. And you're going to come out as that lamb that you are sitting there being all calm and all easy and all. You're going to come out to be this lion in yourself. Do you understand? Because finally... You're marrying yourself. This is a sword because when you go inside your head and you can't come out of it, you're like, what the hell? And it's, it's your thoughts. It's, it's that. It's nothing but your thoughts that's keeping you stuck there. Okay? Because people can run the world and all of this can run in and out, in and out. And you still stuck in the same little place in the house, ain't going nowhere, doing nothing. Because, see, me, I've always had a plan B. I don't give a fuck what you call it. I always, my whole entire life, had a plan B. They might have had me in my thoughts. They might have had me in my feelings. But best to believe I had a plan B. What? That's why I never had no female as friends. I always had men as friends. Because I don't need nobody to tell me, oh, he's doing this to you. Oh, he's doing that to you. When you talk to men, they don't do that shit bitches do. They might be in your face trying to fucking talk to you and you tell them what they do. Oh, he's doing this and that. A nigga ain't going to say that. You know what a man say? Baby, come on, let's go get something to eat. You need to get out of that shit. You don't, come on now, you better than that. Honey, I'm, and they telling you the truth. They looking at you like every other man is looking at you. You look good. You smell, girl, please, what? Now get a girlfriend to tell you some shit. That bitch will drown you in your sorrows. That's why I don't fuck with bitches. Okay? I don't fuck with females. Because I don't trust you. I don't care about you. And get the fuck away from me. But one thing I'm going to tell you is. I ain't never seen a whole bunch of females. Until I opened up my Pisces studio. And that's when I met the real, real females. Guess what I met? I met me. I met me. Because every story y'all tell me and every story I read is me. Do you understand? And I'm a pick from it, but a lot of it's me. But this right here ain't me. Because I ain't, what? I've always had a plan B and I'm going to say it again. And I'm going to tell you one more time. A man might have had my heart. He might have had my heart. He might have took me down, down the, down the deep ocean. But baby, Lisa always said somebody else here that could talk some damn sense to me and could tell me that I was 
beautiful and I was all that and I was very ambitious and it was a man it had never been a woman if I die today my funeral will be loaded with men honey what because I am her I don't give up and once I say goodbye I mean goodbye you couldn't even pay me to look at you I'll look at you like trash okay you lucky you was around me honey you lucky I gave you that much time trash do you understand? I don't know why this reading is going this way. I, I'm sorry. But I keep saying that the spirit's got me on fire for somebody. And I know who I'm talking to. Listen to me. The most female friend I ever had in my whole entire life is Pisces Studios. And let me tell you something. I do this to y'all. Because I love y'all to pieces. You know why? Because y'all just like me. Yes, I wish I would have found y'all a long time ago. Y'all would have talked since to me and we would have been on fire together because everybody I ever talked to that wasn't a Pisces, them bitches are sneaky, sneaky as hell, had me all in my, I'm fucked up already and they got me more fucked up. Then you turn around, they fucking who you, I can't, I can't do it. I gave them bitches a long time ago, long time ago, and then they act like they better than you, bitch. I'm looking at you now. You ain't got no teeth. You hooked on drugs. You out in the street doing this. But you was better than me at one time. You ain't never been better than me, bitch. And I can't wait to sit on stage so I can blow them bitches up on national TV. Yeah, trash. Remember when y'all was laughing at me? Talking about this and that about me? I stay. I always been fly. I can't never remember. Can't nobody ever say Lisa wasn't fly. Lisa always stay fly. Always and forever. Do you understand? They wanted to be me. And they couldn't be me. Alright, Pisces? You got that? That's how they look at y'all. Do you understand? That's why they all come at you crazy. Honey, I look at these females today. They on drugs. They ain't got teeth. They chasing dicks. They ain't got... What? What? They got all these fucking... They got kids. They got everybody. Girl, please. And I still look fabulous. And I can't wait to be on stage so I can blow their wigs right back off. They'll be like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm talking to you. And I politely say their names. All of them. Everybody I can remember. Dick and pussy. I won't give a damn who it is. Trash. And come through my door. I'll really make you stand up in front of the audience. I just want you to tell the audience how fly I was. And how you could never have anything I had. It took you a lifetime to get what I had when I was 17. What? You just now riding around with shit that I had when I was 17, honey. You better ask somebody. What? The best thing that ever happened to me was when my mother put me out at 17. I was live and moving. Do you understand? Live and moving. And I'm talking to one person, and I'm to, not the one, to, to people that really into this stuff mode. And I, I don't even know if I can keep on going with this reading. Because um, this is blowing my mind. The, spirit is, the Spirit's got me on fire here, and I can't let go of it. So I'm going to try to continue this reading, and I'm going to try to push on with it. Because this we want on eight of swords, and I'm going to tell you what, you are not stuck. I'm going to tell you in your thoughts, and ain't nothing that's going to say you got to be where you at because there ain't no reason why you where you at. It's in your thoughts, and I'm going to make you get the hell out of your thoughts. You need to get the H out of there and move on from it because free yourself. Choose to heal in your light. Feeling stuck at times to open up your eyes to and reveal the truth. Having more opportunity than you thought. Okay. Letting go of an old story. And I'm telling y'all this. Honey, I can't. I can't. I really, you know, when I do y'all reading, I really do y'all reading. I go way out. But I'm, I'm really trying. But the spirit ain't letting me go past this. And I don't know why. So I'm going to do this. And I'm going to try. I'm trying. I, I just want my mother to step in. My mother's spirit, please step in, mom, and guide me through this reading because the spirit is all over this. And it's just taking me 
there. It's taking me there. It's taking me there. Mom, please jump into my reading, Lord Jesus. Jump into my reading, please, Lord Jesus. Jump into it. Jump into it, would you? Jump into it. Mom, you was the best. Taught me them lessons. Yes, you did. Here we go. You got the Empress, you picked yourself. You got the World Card. You got the Justice. Thank you. Okay. You got the Empress. You're sitting there looking beautiful as you are. As you fucking are, honey. You the bomb, diggity dog. You got cake. You got candy. You got um tea. You got the tea. Hello, Miss Lisa. Got to add the tea. You got the tea, you got the wands, you got the cat sitting there. You got flowers falling off of you, flowers on your dress, flowers everywhere. Sun is shining through that window. The sun is shining through the window, which means, honey, you like the plant. That sun is shining, you're watering yourself, you're going to grow right out of this situation, honey. You're going to grow. You're going to grow so, honey, I'm going to make you a monster. By the time I get done with you, you're going to be a monster. Please go. I'm not going to let you go until I'm ready to let you go. When I say you graduated, then you march down there with this big old thing on your head. They say, I'm the boss. Excuse me. Pisces. Okay. I'm the bomb. So, Venus. Okay. A planet. Very, very strong. Very strong. Pisces, you are you are like, I'm sorry, uh, Pisces, not Venus, Pisces. You sit on top of your throne, honey. On top of your throne. And let me tell you something. Uh, you giving birth to something brand new. And this right here don't show you giving birth. Because she ain't pregnant. No, she ain't. She's sitting there saying, I'm enjoying this. Yes, I am. I'm enjoying it because I'm ready to give birth to abundance, a rich future. Do you get this shit? A rich future. Okay. So the divine feminine, okay, is creativity, is someone that is, you know, something is going to be birth. Okay. And this let you know it's going to be unconditional love. Body, mind, and soul. And I'm going to tell you something. When Pisces, when, and I'm going to tell you something. When you go within yourself and you get this body, mind, and soul connected, it ain't no tough. They better run for their life. That's all I got to say. Run. I'm a, it, it, when you come into yourself, whoever or whatever it is that was standing in your way, they better run for their lives because they have no clue what's coming. Okay? Because you've been in a cahoon for a long time. Couldn't see, couldn't feel, couldn't do nothing, stuck. And now you are out. So when you out, oh Lord Jesus, they better run for their lives because you are going to be something else and I don't think they're ready for that shit. Uh-uh. How about it's like they like this don't this is not you. How about y'all gonna be like get the fuck out of here? I don't have shit to do. Get the fuck out of here. I say get the fuck out. Like very nasty. And I hope y'all do it in a classy way. Because y'all getting ready to come into a new rebirth about y'all so that ain't no stopping y'all. Now I like it. Now I'm coming out. Come on now, mama. Come on, mom. Talk to him, mommy. That's right, mom. Talk to them. Damn it. Whenever I need you, you come right through. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Then you got Saturn, which it is. Oh, okay. A planet. And this is fierce. Okay. Very fierce. When you come to that, 
Okay, that's like the end of your cards, like the 21 of all from the beginning to the end. And it's saying you got everything, the world in your what? How do I say it? I got the whole wide world in my hands. I got the whole wide world in my hands. I got the whole wide world in my hands. I got the whole world in my hand. What you want to put in your hand? Because you got it. You have you given birth to your body, mind, and soul. You becoming one. And then what? You get the world. Do you understand? You are accepting this gift. All right? Of a new level of awareness and a wholesome that you are loved. Tony, you coming together into everything, achieving a happy ending, abundant success, a new level of conscious, literally traveling the world. Yes, Lord, I claim it. I claim this, traveling the world. Yes. I want to see you. I want to touch you. I want to know you. I want to know you. Do you understand? Claim it. Claim everything you want and you're going to get it. It's a brand new one, honey. It's a brand new world. Positive in abundance. This message is congratulations. You have come into a large project in your life. That you are going to be very, very successful in it. You're elevated to that sweetness. To something very sweet in your life, honey. You got it all in your hand. Because guess what? The justice. You got a lot of major causes. The justice. And when you come to the justice, right? You come to... To... um, You come to balancing yourself. And you're saying, this is a... a uh, Lib Libra, and and your balances, you got the, you know, everything is a give and take, and you saying, you know, I take the blame for what I did. Yeah, I did, I did my part. I ain't gonna lie, and you know, and they take the blame for whatever. I don't know what they gonna take the blame for, but um, you ain't worrying about what they taking the blame for. What you worrying about is you come to accept it in your own terms, okay? That good karma is delightful, loving, and it can be. The most motivating of teachers. So all of this you went through is to teach you that you are definitely on top. Do you understand? A natural law, balancing, karma, trust, wisdom, legal matters, fairness, cause, and effect, integrity. Okay? So many of y'all maybe are going through a legal matter that y'all going to win or you're balancing everything and it's going to be equal. The good, the bad, okay? It's all growth and you're learning from it, okay? Being honest with it. Finally coming to terms with yourself and what the situation was and is. Do you understand? And that's a beautiful thing because once you balance everything, you're coming to everything. I'm going to tell you something too, Pisces. You know, a Pisces can be in three different places at one time with a conversation. And sometimes people say, well, you're in it. Well, follow me, damn it. Follow me. Because I'm not going to leave you wrong. Just follow me, okay? This ain't your house. This is my house. So you're going to follow me or you're going to exit your ass out. I don't know what you're going to do. But don't tell me, oh, I'm here and there and there. Follow me because you've been here and there and there all your damn life. That's why you're here. Don't tell me that I need to be on point B because you can't follow me. If you can't follow me, then go ahead and follow wherever you at. I don't know what to tell you. But this right here, follow me because you've been all over the damn place. If you wasn't all over the place, you won't be right here. And I know you're all over the place because you're Pisces. And that's what we do. We all over the damn place. Stop playing trying to tell me something. No, you're not. You follow me. That's what you need to do. Doing good, huh? Everything's gonna work out. But you coming into your senses and you saying, Whoa, I see this for what it is. And I know it wasn't benefit me. So now you got the Empress, the world, and the justice. What you calling that? You got three major cards right in front of you. Do you understand? Three major cards, and the one in the middle of the major card on the top was the strength. What does that mean? You are powerful. You getting ready to receive some news. Okay, somebody's going to give you something. 
It's a mail and text something. Um, something's coming through for you. Okay, you on a journey, so you might be making trips, going places. Look at this. Okay. Let me tell you something. You're getting ready to come into a major, major, major some, some type of business. Or go. I feel like somebody is coming to you with a message or text. You're going on a journey or you're going on a trip. Or somebody's coming from the military that was in the military that was on their own, you know, coming back from the military or coming back from some type of some type of office business they are and and this person might be a police or an officer working a post office some somebody's coming into your life but i tell you what with a message and they've been on a journey or they coming back from somewhere far to come back to you okay somebody's coming back somebody you keep in touch with somebody that you write to somebody that is not around you Somebody, but someone is coming back, okay? And this person means something to you. This person means something to you. That means that they are in your life some type of way. Pisces, you picked yourself, okay? Pisces, you're making a major decision, and you got... Two ways to go with it. It's a decision that you're making, and you see, you got the it's it's you got the star and the moon, and that door is opening, and you better make it clear because you're coming into this awakening. That after all of this you went through, look at the, the clouds around it. Look, look, look at the eyes are wide awake. Look at the light on top of it, which means the decision must be made because you are coming into yourself. And there it is. And there it is. It's a decision that you're going to make. This That you need to make. Okay? Because you're looking at it. And one, one side, you're thinking about it. And the other side, you're saying... You're saying... Look at the face. You're serious on this side. And you're smiling on this side. Which, which what, what you going to do? What you going to do with that? I feel like someone wants to give you some flowers and someone is coming to you, okay? And it's going to be something by luck, all right? This is like a lucky break. I don't know. Um, What else we at? Come on now. Let me see what else I could do. I could do this card right here because I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I took up. The spirits was, mom, thanks, mom. Thanks for helping me. My mom is dead. And my mom has come through. Once again, thank you, mom. I love you, mom. Thank you. And thank you, love Jesus. You might have taught me self-love. Uh, you might have taught me tough love and self-love. But I tell you what, I wish she was here to see me work, honey, because I'm working it, baby. She's like, yeah, I got you back, mama. I got you, mommy. Okay, engagement. Something is getting ready to pop off. I hope it pops off. I mean, shit, where's my um, ten of pentacles? Shit. I done forgot to mention him because guess what? I'm doing me. I'm so happy within myself. I don't know. I don't even care. New love. Hey! hey, hey. I told you I've always had a plan B. Reconsideration. Someone from your past is returning to, and it ain't for me, honey. I take this, this engagement, this new love, but it better not be for no past because I don't want it. And I'm picking another car because that, that ain't for me. I don't want this shit. I'll just cut the bitch off. Fuck out of here. Goodbye, trash. Call him talking to me any kind of way. You got one time in the lab. Time to talk to me like you crazy. It ain't going to happen. Separation. Yeah, honey. They coming back and they're going to be separated. Okay, separation is in the in, in the mix. Cause guess what? It ain't for me because I've been saying bye-bye. But let's pull one more. One more. Come on. This is the last one. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Hallelujah. So, honey, engage with new love. That could be me. 
reconsideration that damn showing me because I don't want that shit separation yeah that might be you and this that you need to let go of the piece of shit and getting back to yourself hallelujah and I'm gonna read one more from this here because I love these cards and they made these for me honey that is really me I mean I don't know why the hell I, I, mean, I, I gotta make my own deck it's time for me to make my own deck honey and my deck is gonna be fierce honey my deck is gonna have all kinds of little shit and it's gonna be just like me crazy Mm-hmm. Yeah, honey. I'm gonna make them just like the witch's deck. Fucking right. Oh, okay. You're growing from this. You're starting to plant your seeds, honey. You, don't you see? Look at this. You see it? You see? You said, look at the cat back there playing with the, the dirt. And she up here carrying that shit because she said, honey, I need to plant, plant this shit, put it by the light. By, by the sun and let this bitch go and let me watch it grow because I need to get up out of this shit. I need to see green, honey. Moving away from something no longer serves you, honey. Getting the hell away from it. Bye. Look at the cat. The cat even got the dag on holding on for dear like he said, we get the hell out of here. You got water floating. You got green around you. Honey, everything is going to work out for your way. Anything you want. And it's a clear... And it's a change of progress, honey. You're going to be fine. And look at your ass right here. That is so me. He's playing with the, and that's like my house. Me with a cup of glass of wine. After the bullshit, I let go of your ass because you ain't worth shit. And I'm having me a blast, honey. Me and my animals drinking my wine. Yes, I am. Okay. Yes, prosperity and abundance. That 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 is us, honey. Okay, now. Now, Pisces. I want to say thank you for watching me. Thank you for all the millions of prayers and blessings y'all send me. And you know, I take salt baths after every reading because, honey, I be I, I got to re recharge myself. And that's what I do. So sometimes people call and they want to read them right as soon as they purchase. I can't. I got other readings to do. But if I can get you right then and there, then yes, I will do it. But I got to recharge myself. Uh, y'all don't understand when people read. Tarot card, it, it's just like y'all seeing it, but y'all don't realize how much it takes from us when we do readings. It takes a lot to do a reading, okay? So that's why I freaks out when I hear people talking stupidness because they have the slightest clue of what it is when we do readings. It's not easy as pie, and then um, people want to act crazy, and that's why I start acting like a lunatic, just like them. We just blend right in together. And I give it to you exactly how you're giving it to me, raw and clear. And I just tell you, simple as this, get the fuck out of here and I'll block your ass. Because that's what I do. I don't let people come into my energy and try to take what I'm doing for y'all and want to run my show. I don't go to nobody's house and tell them what to do. I sit there and mind my business. Okay? That's what I do. So that's what I want y'all people to come in here and want to act like, oh, tear this and that. And they, I know it's a lot of damn work. This shit ain't easy. Okay? So, um... All I got to say is I love y'all and have a beautiful day. It's about to rain out here. And I'm going to get some of that rain water and put it out. And when it's a full moon, I'm going to go to the beach and get that beach water and bring it home. And I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with that beach water because most of y'all know what to do with those people that get private readers from me. I always tell y'all what to do with that beach water and that full moon water, right? So, all right, we'll talk. Love y'all. Take care of yourself. I'll see y'all later. Bye.